Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys today, this weekend. I hope that you guys are having a great weekend. First of all, what the heck are you doing this weekend? Are you doing anything special? The weather here is nice, so I'm going to try and be outside a little bit after I do my recordings. But I think we're going to play a little bit of um, R3 Play With Fire because you guys know I love making extra money. I like gameplay where you um, can make extra money, where you can build up things a little bit faster. So that's why I generally play Bonanza. Um, and things like that. I know the R3 Bonanza is up right now, but we're not going to be playing that one. Look at this. I'm okay with that. Um, these helicopters should be pretty good. The Dark Monkey's not too shabby. We have a lot of good detection and whatnot down here. Um, so I think that this should go well for us. We're going to go ahead and get um, extra range. And let's put this guy on close. And we're going to get the cluster or the frag bombs right there. And then I might save up <clears throat> for the cluster before we start sending... Uh, just to make sure that uh, we can defend well. I'm not too sure why he built two towers right off the bat, but um, okay. Um, and we're just going to save up a little bit longer here, guys, because I think he's going to get overrun. Um, but our cluster bombs should do the work for us. There we go. And now we'll go ahead and um, start sending as well. So his eco is going to be a little bit higher than ours, but I really think we're going to be able to defend this better than he is. Um, that dart monkey is not going to do too much for him. Um, and we should be able to hold off really, really well here. So as you can see, we're making two dollars for the um, for the Reds, which is freaking awesome. We'll go ahead. I don't want to get bigger bombs or anything yet. I don't want to spend my money. I want to be able to continue uh, to send uh, balloons here. We are going to need to get bigger bombs though, in just a little bit to make sure that we can, in fact, defend everything that comes out. Um, uh, the next thing that I'll probably buy, we'll need some camo detection, obviously, and this cannon's not going to give that to us. Um, let's go ahead and actually get bigger bombs here um, uh, Just so that we can make sure that we're defending and look at this every time every time <laughs> Guys every single time his name is memory loss and it looks like the game had a little bit of memory loss there in Disconnecting freaking ridiculous. Um, okay, so Look how slow it's going What in the world slow motion look at look at that <laughs> Look, there we go. What in the world? That was ridiculous. It was so slow. Oh my word. That was ridiculous, guys. Um, okay, so what do I want to build here? We already have lead popping power. We don't have any camo lead popping power. Um, he's not going to have that because he built that dart monkey. So I think what I'm going to build is a, uh, is a juggernaut. And I'm going to build it right here and get this guy up and rolling for us. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to boost real quick just to make sure that we can defend all of this and uh, We'll save up for the jug. Uh, look at that. Some of them are getting through not too many though um, Look at him just freaking sending pinks like a little punk Okay, so we defended it. Well, let's go ahead and get this juggernaut rolling. It's going to do a good job of defending for us um, and then we'll get um, We'll get uh, a couple of dart monkeys down here as well just so that we can help uh, send but I do want to continue getting my eco up because as you can see we can defend we can defend this really well right now No problem. He's building up a juggernaut as well And our guy is just doing work once he starts shooting straight across like that He's gonna do really really good damage for us as you can see um, We'll go ahead and get a missile launcher and uh, that does more velocity and range more damage and faster firing So that's going to help out a significant um, amount. Can we please do a little bit more damage than what we're doing right now? I would appreciate it, my dear friend. Looks like we're losing a couple more. Um, we'll go ahead and get a Juggernaut right here as well. Um, and then we should be good against any kind of camo lead uh, that may come out. So uh, it's round 10. We can send pinks. Let's go ahead and start sending pinks um, as well. And just start popping as much as we possibly can slowing everything down. That's what I'm talking about I do want to get uh, maybe get a helicopter up in here in just a little bit I really want to I need more eco guys. We don't have that much eco at all uh, Looks like he might be saving up a little bit for something um, Round 12 we could send any sort of camo, but um, I think that we're fine He might send a little bit here, so I'm gonna go ahead and just get um, a Triple dart monkey. Yeah, see so he's sending those we'll go ahead and boost this and uh, we'll take it out very easily. Um, no problem whatsoever. I he's actually going to kill himself. <laughs> yes. Yes. He defeated himself. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. He just defeated himself 
not paying attention. That's what's up. Let's go back. He totally regrets that. Why? <laughs> what in the world was he thinking? What in the world was he thinking? Nice. So we just crushed that. Let's go ahead and jump into another one here, guys, um, and see how we can do. That was so funny. <laughs> We defended that really well. It was a good thing we built those triple dart monkeys because they definitely helped. But Juggernaut's under a boost. Whew! Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, we'll see what map we get here. Nope, not going to play that map. I'm going to skip that right off the bat because it's my least favorite map. Ooh, this looks a little intimidating. What is he going to do? Ernie Mo, what you going to do, my man? What's the play here? Wow, he's going to ready up on that. What in the world? Uh, okay, so I guess we're probably going, I might start off with, oh, that's not my side. Um, we'll start off with, uh, air burst over here. I think that's going to be the biggest thing. The reason that I'm starting off down here is because it'll shoot all the way up through everything up towards the top. We'll go ahead and get barbed art so that it can start doing some damage for us. Um, but we have got to save up for, if he starts sending eco, that's going to be a bad decision. We got to save up, get air burst darts. Um, and then we'll be good from there for a little bit. As you guys know, airburst starts are amazing. Here we go. So now we have airburst starts. And I don't, I don't know if I want to start sending quite yet. Um, just because we want to make sure that we're safe. But we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and sand. And I think that we should be fine here. Um, yeah, so we should be able to hold this off. Looks like he might be in a little bit of trouble because of where he built. We're kind of we're more in the middle of the map. He's not really in the middle of the map. He doesn't have airburst. Yes, he does. Um, so he has air burst darts, uh, and they're, we're doing okay with the defense here. Let's go ahead, and i got to make sure that we can defend this. Let's get a um, let's get a tag shooter right here, and get advanced intel over there. And um, then we'll just continue sending here. Round 6 is right around the corner. we got to make sure that we can defend that. The tag shooter is going to do okay for us, and obviously we need to upgrade that to faster shooting, etc., etc., uh, we have no lead popping power right now, no camo lead popping power. He's why are you building that? That's not gonna do anything, my man. <laughs> oh gosh, he might be in trouble here, guys. He might be in trouble here. Um, let's go ahead and get attack sprayer so that it's really shooting stuff. And it looks like we might be in a little bit of trouble. Nope, nice, not in. Oh gosh, he's going. He's what? What in the world? There he goes. I was about to say, how did those not get by? Because they clearly did. Um, okay, so. Uh, you guys can probably hear my dog, Millie, barking right now. She's being a trick. Uh, she's out on the porch. So uh, we're going to hold off with all of this with our airburst starts and our tax sprayer. It's doing a great job for us. Um, he looks like he's struggling just a little bit, but um, we're doing okay. I'm definitely happy with this. I don't really want to get extra range or anything. Um, I do want to get, however... Um, a, I do want to start building up these, uh, the, the spike factory because it is, as you guys saw in my other video, one of my favorite, um, towers. I feel like it's really, really good. Um, but we do need to get our eco up for when the camo detection comes out and we need some camo lead. So let's see how we can do against these yellows. We can send out an okay amount of them and be fine. So we'll get these going and, uh, and defend those. Uh, ooh, how far are they getting? Okay. Get that red one. Nice. Okay. We got it. We stopped it. We stopped it. It was a little bit close, but we did okay. Let's get extra range and uh, a little bit more on our uh, attack shooter. Oh gosh! Oh no! 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 Oh my word! Oh my gosh! What in the world just happened? No, that is not what we wanted, guys. All right, so it was because he sent and I sent at the same time, and it got a little bit camouflaged and confusing for us. We weren't really ready for that. Um, let's go ahead. What do I want to do here? Because we're about to get a whole bunch of camo coming out. Um, camo region. And we're just going to save up and we're going to beat him real quick right here, guys. Watch this. So he's still just sending his eco. And he is not going to have anything to stop all of these pinks that are about to come out and completely take him down. And they're probably going to take us down as well. No, they're not. But we got him down to S69. Nice. I totally forgot that it was play with fire, and we could have just killed ourselves very easily right there, guys. That was a little scary, but it's okay. We put ourselves back up in the lead. Go ahead and take this, um, get rid of this, and uh, we'll get the even faster production and then just continue sending pinks here, and uh, I think we'll be able to defend just fine. Up, 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 maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. 
So let's get up to a thousand real quick and then build up a little bit more. Um, definitely want to get the uh, the spike balls over there. There we go. So we're at a thousand now. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. They're starting to get through. No, 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 no. Shit. No. <laughs> just shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Okay. All right. 89 to 66. This one's a little bit close, guys. Spike ball factory here holding it down. Um, and uh, I don't know. I just don't know what's going to happen here, guys. I just don't know what is going to happen. We could get a ring of fire, but obviously we can just send like some camo lead. Um, our spike factory is doing a good job. Let's build up another one uh, right beside it and get that over to all of this. Nice. Two spike factories. Those should be able to hold off from any sort of camo that comes out, and we should be good to go here. Um, so we're going to save up, I think, to send a couple of Moabs. Uh, which obviously is going to be dangerous, uh, seeing that it's going to be sent to ourselves as well. Um, but I think that we should be able to defend it fairly easily. Um, let's go ahead and get one with the ability. So we're going to work over to that one, two, and it's going to be 3,000. And then I don't know how much the ability is, but we're just going to kind of hang out here, um, get that ability, pop it, probably sell, and then upgrade pop it one more time let's go ahead and just get rid of this guy right here and there we go so it's 6500 for that let's go ahead and upgrade this thing um and i think that we'll be okay here so there's, there's, some, there's a little bit of lead coming out here but it's no real big problem let's go ahead and put this guy on strong and you can see that we're popping everything fairly easily um <clears throat> all that camo is going down so we got to save up this 6500 right here guys um, and then we're gonna send a couple of Moabs, try and get them through, use our ability so that they can pop everything, and then I think that we'll be good to go here. So, we should get it in, what is this, 12 seconds or so? Um, ooh, I don't know, this is gonna be a close one. This is definitely going to be a close one because we're gonna have to pop it, sell, etc., etc., get it going for us. And here we go, so 65, oh, look at him, he looks like he's in a little bit of trouble. Okay, so we got our spike storm right there, guys. Now we're going to save up um, for, uh, what do we want to do, a couple of Moabs or a BFB? That's the real question right there. Look at all these blacks that are coming in, doing, uh, oh gosh, come on, we got, come on, hold off, hold it off, hold it off. Look at, what in the world, so many balloons, why can I not build over here? What the, can you really not build in here with a uh, spike factory? Oh, no, 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 no. Look how much money I have. I have $6,000 and I was just trying to build a spike factory in there and it wouldn't go in. I also had my ability to use. Dang it. Ugh. Okay. Okay. We got to do one more here. And we got to win. Man, pay attention, guys. Pay attention when you're playing. Whenever I'm commentating and stuff, I just lose focus and I'm like, oh, why can't I fit this? And then my hand is blocking what's going on on the entire rest of the iPad. And I just end up losing because of it. Man. Okay, we'll play on this map. Yeah, we'll ready up here. And uh, let's see how quickly. Let's see how quickly we can beat this guy, okay? So that's going to be our goal here is to see how quickly we can indeed beat him. Okay, so we're going to go right here. We're going to go Sonic Boom, blah, blah, blah. We're going to go this right path the whole time. Um... And, uh, and get that up because he ends up doing a little bit better than the uh, Ricochet Glaive um, <clears throat> early on. So, let's see. Do we want to get multi Really? You're going to build two of them already? Interesting. Look, another top player is looking for a match. Nice. Oh, wow. I didn't even put my tax down yet. What am I doing? Let's throw our tax down. I, guys, I can't believe that we just lost that. That's so annoying. Oh, that's ridiculous, man. All right, get this up. He's going to start throwing a good amount. And then we're going to start sending our eco as well. And I feel like we'll probably be able, be able to do a, a good amount of damage to him. What kind of camo detection do we have? We just have the spike factory again. Um, so let's get this roll in here. Uh, a little sip of my Red Bull. And continue going. So you can see that he's already having a little bit of uh, trouble over there because he doesn't have Ricochet Glaive. Once he gets Ricochet Glaive, obviously he's going to be able to take all that out. But look at this madness right here. He already has the boost because he built two of them. But he sell one to get Ricochet Glaive. There you go. So he finally got Ricochet Glaive. That was extremely close for him. Um, what? What? 
Where? Are okay, I was about to say, where the heck are all the blues that I've been sending? Um, so we're sending blues. We could send pinks, and, and it would mess them up a little bit. We'd be able to take them out, though, with our guy. So check this out. Like, you can see he does a good job of stopping pinks. Um, I don't know how well this, uh, how well the Ricochet Glaive is going to do against the pinks. I don't think that it does a good job. Um, yeah, you can see some of them are, are getting through. Um, so let's go ahead and build up a, we want to get one Ricochet Glaive as well. Let's actually build it right up here um, and roll this way with that. And then we can take him to Glaive Lord. Some of them are getting through on our side. Not too big of a deal. Uh, Ricochet Glaive right there. And now we're going to be good to go. So, build up our eco. See what we can do. Uh, I definitely think that having one of the Bionics and one of the uh, Ricochet Glaives is the way to go. He has two Ricochets, which obviously is going to help him against the Camo. Um, but he's going to need to upgrade to a Glaive Lord in order to stop all of that at round 12. So, here's the question. We have to do the same thing. I think that our eco is a little bit higher than his. Um, so we're going to sell, get our Glaive Lord, and make sure that we're good to go. I'm going to wait uh, until round 9, build up our eco until then. There we go. And it's going to cost us 4500 This guy's worth 2000 so we need to save up 2500 in order to get that. And then we can send a whole bunch of camo. So round 10 here. Um, if we could save up to the whole 4500 before round 12, that'd be amazing and keep our Bionic. That would be clutch uh, because then we'd be able to sell the Bionic and send a whole bunch of camo. But it doesn't look like we're going to be able to, so I might need to go ahead and just sell this guy and go ahead and get that Glaive Lord right there to help defend against the camo that can indeed come out. So we'll get this guy right here. Now we can defend, as you can see. He has no camo detection. Um, so we're just going to kind of play it off as if, oh, now he does have camo detection. That sucks. Let's get another bionic guy right here. Um, so he does have that camo detection, but if we can get a, a lot past him at the beginning, then I think we'll be good to go. Uh, we can take him out, but that's, that's close because then we're going to get it past ourselves. So let's go ahead and build up a, uh, let's build up a spike factory right here with, um, faster production so that it can just build up and then we'll rush uh we'll rush with some camos and i think that we'll be able to i think we'll be able to defend and we'll be able to take them out so we're gonna get these do we have white hot yeah we do um let's get even faster production get these out rolling on the map and then we're gonna send um a whole bunch of camo region lead in his direction um and i think that we'll be able to take him out fairly easily so those are 792. We need to save up a little bit more money. Uh, since we're sending camo, this guy's not really going to do anything for us anyways. So let's go ahead and boost this and see if we can indeed uh, take him out with it. We're going to go ahead and boost and try and defend it. Uh, and it looks like he's going to boost and defend it as well. So that push was unsuccessful, which is fine. Uh, but we did sell our guy, which sucks. Didn't Probably shouldn't have done that. Um, but I think that our eco is definitely higher than his is at this point. Um, our Glaive Lord is doing a good job up there at the top of the map. Um, that, oh gosh, that sucked because Regen and Camo cost so much that that might set us back here um, in regards to everything on the map. So we could be in a little bit of trouble, um, but we're just going to upgrade this thing up to this 2200 right now. Spike Ball Factory, that's good to go. But as you can see, he's got way more towers than us. I don't know how much better his eco is than mine. Um, but if we could get another Glaive Lord right up in here, can we scoot it all the way over? That would be clutch. No, we can't. Okay, so, actually, we're not going to go Glaive Lord. We're going to go Bionic right there, and let's continue building up our Eco. Um, I don't know how high we need to get, but we do want to try and take him out with Moabs, um, if at all possible, and we're going to need that ability in order to stop them, so... Ooh, don't, oh no, he, okay, so he has two Glaive Lords, which is fine, because those aren't going to do much against Moabs, but if anything else does come by, then we're going to be in a little bit of trouble. Um, so let's go ahead, I might sell this one and get the other, uh, the other ability, since we have our, uh, our Glaive Lord and our Bionic up there to do the majority of the damage. So let's get this guy rolling, and, um, start upgrading this over to the right path. So we got to save up a good amount of money here. We're at 1500 so we can get it fairly quickly. Let's go ahead and try and get up to um, about 3000 though. 2000 
and then from there upgrade um, I can't tell if he's still sending balloons or if it's just us because we're defending everything really well so I can't tell if it's like doubled up or not but I imagine that he is leaf doll is his name what's up leaf how you doing my man um, so here we go 2000 we're gonna save up now get this ability rolling for us make sure that we can um, defend really well excuse me and we're gonna get this 2000 upgrade that right there nice oh excuse me goodness um, it looks like he's just building up those he sold his other one just to make sure he can defend against Moabs and round 22 obviously we could send I'm gonna continue sending eco here um, we got to make sure that we can pop all these ceramics that are coming around yes we can nice nice um, let's build up a, just a an epic wall of spikes right here on this corner get all these going and we're gonna go over to the Moab poppers uh, ideally uh, just to make sure that we can shred shred all the Moabs that come out because eventually that's what we're gonna be seeing more of we're gonna be seeing more of those than we are of uh, regular balloons so that's gonna be key to have those down just sh absolutely shredding everything our eco is actually pretty good right now we're holding off we're doing good uh, I don't like how he's building his guys up there they look terrible look at that his space is not uh, done well my sister's calling me guys say what's up to my sister um, in the comments down below hello Megan how you doing <laughs> All right, um, so we've got another bionic up there. We'll fill that little area up um, Let's go ahead and upgrade this as well. So we have two of these abilities He's building up one down towards the bottom. This looks like it might be a longer match. He has two abilities I have two abilities um, our eco's at 3,000 here. Let's get one more of the abilities and um, Get that rolling so that we can just pop all of those and just shred everything that comes out uh, he hasn't upgraded that one at the bottom. I think our Bionics are going to do better than his Glaive Lords against Balloons or against uh, Moab class Balloons. So um, let's go. I'm going to get 4,000 here. We're going to save up, guys. And then we're just going to build a bunch of those abilities, pop them all. Uh, you can see that he's going that route as well. So he's going to be able to defend really well against any sort of Moabs if I do, uh, in fact, decide to send them to him. Um, but... I don't know. I, I just don't, I don't I don't I don't know what to do here because we want to just rush. We want to we want to beat this guy. Um, four thousand, come on! Yeah, four thousand, right? Got that spike storm. He has a whole bunch of spike storms down there, um, and we have uh, an okay amount. We're gonna get a couple more here. Uh, looks like he is still sending eco, just steady. He's steady sending eco over there. Um, keep this rolling. Upgrade that again. And continue just grinding all of these spike factories out. Um, oh my word. Oh no, we're gonna have to pop that, pop everything. That was close. I don't know what the heck was going on there, but since we popped that, we'll go ahead and send um, a whole bunch here. So let's get another Glaive Lord right up here in the corner. You can see he's not building effectively up there, guys, at all. Um, we have four in the area that he has two. So. Um, let's get this up and we're gonna build this one right over here. Do we have these guys aren't upgraded all the way to the turbo charge? There we go um, Got turbo charge rolling and look at that. He so he's defending just as well as we are even though we have more uh, Moabs up there, but he does have uh, Spike factories up here. Let's go ahead and we'll build a couple of spike factories up towards the top This is looking like it's gonna be a longer episode ladies and gentlemen um, so I just don't know what to do. We're already 25 minutes into this thing and that's because we had two matches right before this that we can't really cut out so um, We haven't even put down. No, we did put down our tax I was about to say our tax at the very end there 5,000 eco. Let's get it and let's roll out We are popping a little bit faster than he is at this point um, Which is good. Obviously, that's exactly what we want to do. We want to pop as much as possible Let's get more of these uh, more of these spike factories up and out can I really not build right here no oh nice I can build right here though completely hidden get it do work there we go um, spike storm on that continue building up and the question is guys oh wow look how he built his spike factories that's interesting um, he overlapped them well I wonder if you can build more when you do it like that let's get another spike storm here and we can get spike storm on this other one but we're just gonna keep on building up our eco see how we can do here and um, he has one two three four five six looks like he has seven of the spike storm abilities I guess I can go ahead and sell this guy and we'll just do a whole bunch of um, of spike storms on the map uh, to do work 
upgrade this one once we get a little bit of money there we go and now all of ours are upgraded to spike storm we have eight spike storm abilities his madness his absolute madness absolute madness look at all the a bunch of the balloons are getting fairly close to going through over here he's building his he's building a sniper right there uh <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, I actually do like snipers. I think they're a pretty cool tower. We're going to pop this uh, just to make sure that we can defend that. How are they getting so far on our side but not as far um, on his? It is a little bit concerning and confusing to me when we have all the same stuff. Like I don't, I genuinely do not understand. So why is he building his boomerang monkeys like that, guys? He's doing a terrible job. Look at him. We're fitting so many more in our areas than he is in his. Um... <laughs> Like, seriously, what are you doing, buddy boy? All right, so get this up. Um, I guess we'll build snipers there in the middle as well um, because they are, they'll do a good job of slowing down the Moab. So let's go ahead and you can build, I think, yeah, you can fit three on each side and it looks like he knows that as well. We're going to go all the way left over here, cripple Moab, put this guy on strong. One and two and come on, no, we can, yep, there it is right there, come on. Where is the spot? Right. Come on. This is a joke. Right. Oh, my word. How does this always happen, guys? There. Nice. Okay, so we got that going. And we'll do Cripple Moab on that. And Cripple Moab with Strong on that one. And let's build three more over here um, on this side as well. All the way over to Cripple Moab. Uh oh, look at that. They're getting kind of far on his side. Nice. Uh, build up one more and then build up one more. Oh, where are they going? Look at that. I, we're doing good guys. We're holding off really well here um, I'm happy with this We got to save up a uh, Couple more seconds and get another cripple Moab put this guy on strong or all these on strong strong and That one's already on strong So I don't need to do anything to it get another cripple Moab and let's continue building up here So here's the question look he's got a couple of the exploding ones up at the top but we don't really need that because we have all the Glaive Lords and everything else up there. So it's not really necessary. Why is I still don't understand why the heck he built those like that, guys. That's terrible. Like, they, he can fit so many more up there. And he's just not doing it. He's not doing it. I don't know what in the world he's doing. We're going to get it. We're going to mix the Glaive Lords with the uh, Bionic Boomerangs. Just make sure that we have um, a good, just, I don't know, transfer of <clears throat> whatever. Can we fit two? Can we fit two? Uh, spike factories in here or not no we cannot so we're gonna have to build right uh, like this and can we fit this guy in here no we cannot can we fit a sniper in there yes we can so another sniper is gonna go right here get him on strong upgrade this all the way over here look at him guys looks like they're going fairly far on his side he's having to use some of his abilities over there um, and we are going to just continue building up our spike factories and throwing in our snipers in between uh, and they are going to do good work for us look at that this is epic I'm feeling it I'm feeling good here guys I'm feeling good here with all the sniper oh no yeah okay good feeling good with all the snipers and the spike storms um, we are absolutely crushing everything over here <clears throat> um, he's not uh, building as well as I would have thought he would be where, where is this gonna go this one's gonna go right uh, Come on here and then fit another sniper up in but no no all right so we got to sell this because I do want to be able to fit a sniper um, in each one of these little gaps so we're gonna build this right there now we'll build our spike factory right next to him <clears throat> all of these snipers are gonna make oh shoot I didn't mean to do that nah, that's okay we'll have one of the exploding ones down here <laughs> Oh, that's ridiculous. All right, and then another sniper right here. Get him as close as we can, and then build this guy um, as well. Come on, fit in there. There we go. All the way over there. We're crushing it right now. Feeling super confident, guys. Um, put this guy on strong as well. And we are, you can see, we're just shutting everything down over there. <clears throat> Gonna get another sniper up in here. They fit so well in between the gaps that, like, it's it's smart enough to it's smart to just scoot the spike factories over just a little bit so you can fit a little less of them and get all these abilities. So we'll go ahead and use one of our abilities and a couple of these. Let's just pop them. I don't know why, but we'll just, we'll just get them out of the way um, and then continue building up our snipers. I don't know if I upgraded this sniper uh, right here. Let me go check right there. Nope, he's not even upgraded yet. Throw him on strong. 
upgrade this one, throw him on strong. And now this bottom area is super good. You can see that the top portion of our map is just getting owned right now. I kind of want to send him uh, some ZOMGs because we have so much to defend uh, that I feel like we would be fairly strong here when it comes to uh, our defense as well. Let's build up one more. So we got to build another spike factory right here. Um, get that out and roll in. We have so many abilities we can use. <clears throat> get another sniper right here. And then build another spike factory right next to that. And then I think we can go all the way up with that one. So he is struggling a little bit, guys. Um, they are getting a lot further on his side than they are on ours. You can see that. He's building, I mean, he's building okay. It doesn't look like, so he hasn't filled up that, that bottom portion yet like we have. Let's go ahead and pop all these, just start doing some damage. Let's go ahead and throw down one of these. And can we build straight up from this? Uh, yes, we can. So we're going to build straight up with all of these, get a whole bunch of um, these spike factories down. Spike factories and snipers, guys, the way to go. We are absolutely crushing it right now with all this. Let's use one of these abilities. Um, just to start doing some good popping over there and it looks like they're already getting fairly far on his side as you can see we already took down all of those BFBs he still has a lot more of them on the map we're gonna go ahead and pop two of these abilities um, and make sure that we can defend looks like he might be in a little bit of trouble guys as they're going around but he's definitely gonna finish popping them um, but we are doing and look at that they're getting oh my goodness they're going they're going they're going what's gonna happen what's gonna happen what's gonna are we gonna yes Taking him out guys. That's what I'm talking about epic snipers and spike factories. That was good That was really really good leaf dog good game. Thank you so much for watching guys If you enjoyed make sure you leave a like on the video um, and as always make sure you keep calm and you pop on I'll see you on the next episode. All right, peace